Well, Congress is sounding the alarm over the security of your private medical information. A congressional investigation reveals some of the nation's leading pharmacies. The leading pharmacy chains have handed over medical records to law enforcement without even having a warrant to do so and without the customer's knowledge of it either. Xavier Walton is following the developments for us. Xavier, are lawmakers saying this could pose a threat to Americans' privacy rights? Marky, that's exactly what lawmakers are saying. They also believe um, that the Department of Health and Human Services have the solution to actually fixing it. Now, this all started, this congressional investigation uh, started back in June. At that point, um, investigators, lawmakers looked into policies from eight pharmacies, uh, eight pharmacy chains, including Walgreens Boots Alliance, Walmart, Rite Aid, Amazon Pharmacy, and CVS, where we are this morning. Uh, investigators found that when it came to law enforcement requests, the pharmacy giants instruct their staff to disclose these sensitive documents to police. Uh, but the policies differ on whether or not the pharmacy needs to actually contact the customer themselves. CVS Health, the Kroger Company, and Rite Aid Corporation failed to require legal review before submitting patient records to law enforcement. None of the eight companies require a warrant prior to sharing patient records. Also, investigators found that only Amazon Pharmacy alerts patients when it shares records with law enforcement. Lawmakers sent a letter to Health and Human Services pressing the department to, to overhaul the HIPAA regulations, making the policies clearer, and uh, ensuring pharmacies ask for a warrant before handing over any medical records. Data privacy partner Dominique Shelton Leipzig tells us, you know, without these hard lines, pharmacies are just left in an awkward position. That puts companies that have customers whose data has been entrusted to them in a very awkward position. Usually there's a process for dealing with law enforcement requests, uh, but on the spot, employees might feel uh, intimidated or uh, scared to stick to company policy and resulting in privacy issues that become uh, things that the company needs to address. All right, so we reached out to the pharmacies who were named in this uh, letter. CVS Pharmacy responded saying, in part, most of their requests from law enforcement require confidentiality, and those that don't are reviewed on a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, Amazon Pharmacy also responded to our request for comments saying, in part, they cooperate with law enforcement and comply with court orders, but the company does not, or does rather, the company does notify customers prior to disclosing any health information if there is no legal prohibition to doing so. You know, we reached out to the Department of Health and Human Services to see, you know, what they are doing to, to fix this, to address this uh, issue. We're still waiting to hear back, but either way, Adrian, I mean, when, when you hear this, I was talking to my mother-in-law about it, it kind of grabs your attention, thinks, huh, w w what's going on here? Well, first of all, it sounds crazy that you would have any, I mean, do you not have rights if you are being investigated by law enforcement? That's the number one thing. And then second of all, did you get married? And I didn't know. Mother-in-law? Sorry, you're right. She's future mother-in-law still. I just I was like, do that. I was like, are you announcing the, the news here now? <laughs> I apologize, Xavier, to be all up in your Kool-Aid, but me. yeah, it's it's real. It's real love if you you're already me. calling her mother-in-law. That's yeah. funny. I caught that too. Thanks, I was Xavier. like, oh, we missed a big life event. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.